In this video we share the Garabandal miracle and Padre Pio. Padre Pio would have been aware of the miracle of Garabandal. And the Virgin would have announced it to him, in one of the talks with the saint of Pietrelcina. To learn of this fact, through a friend of Padre Pio, was Conchita, one of the visionaries who claimed to have seen the Madonna in the village of Asturias. In fact, in Garabandal, from June 18, 1961 until 1965, four girls declared that they had apparitions first of Saint Michael the Archangel and then of the Virgin. The Curia of Santander, under which the village of San Sebastian de Garabandal falls, appointed a commission to study the events. There are incredible videos and photos of what happened in Garabandal and of the experiences that these girls, then almost all 12-year-olds, claim to have lived. Three of these girls are still alive. Some of them have left Spain and live in the States, in anonymity. In Apparitions and Messages of Garabandal, the author Don Marcello Stonzioni reports the meeting between Padre Pio and the visionary of Garabandal, and the mysterious events that happened after. In February 1967, the visionary Conchita arrived in Rome with her mother, a Spanish priest, Father Luis Luna, Professor Enrico Medi, and with Princess Cecilia of Bourbon Parma. They had planned a meeting at the then Holy Office, now the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith, with an authoritative cardinal. With the time available, they decided to go to San Giovanni Rotondo to try to meet Padre Pio. According to Conchita, and the other visionaries, the name of the friar with the stigmata was mentioned for the first time by the Madonna. In San Giovanni Rotondo, Conchita and the others managed to talk to Padre Pio, who in turn had heard of the alleged apparitions of Garabandal. In a 1975 interview, Conchita recounts the encounter. I remember that I had the crucifix kissed by Our Lady and I told him, this is the cross kissed by the Most Holy Virgin. Would he like to kiss, the cross? Padre Pio then took the crucifix and placed it on the palm of his left hand, on the stigmata. Then he took my hand, put it on the crucifix, closing the fingers of that hand on my hand, with his right hand he blessed mine and the cross. He did the same with my mother when she told him please to bless her rosary, also kissed by the Virgin. I remained on my knees the whole time I was in front of him. He held my hand, with the cross, while he spoke to me. Then they said goodbye, and the group returned to Rome, while Padre Pio returned to his cell. During that meeting no mention was made of the miracle. According to the visionaries of Garabandal, Our Lady has announced that this miracle will take place on a Thursday at 8.30 in the evening, Garabandal time, and will last a quarter of an hour. But a sign will remain visible to the pines until the end of time. It will coincide with a great ecclesial event. The sick present will heal, sinners will be converted and the unbelievers will believe. Conchita knows the date of the miracle and will announce it eight days before. One of the prophecies of Our Lady of Garabandal concerning the miracle, we read in Apparitions and Messages of Garabandal, said that the Holy Father would see it from wherever he was, and so it would also be for Padre Pio. When the friar died in 1968, Conchita was perplexed, wondering why the prophecy had apparently not come true. A month later she was reassured and she also received a beautiful gift. In October 1968 she received a telegram from Lourdes, from a woman in Rome whom Conchita knew. Her telegram asked the visionary to go to Lourdes where she would receive a letter from Padre Pio addressed to her. Father Alfred Coombe and Bernard Louis of France were in the country at the time and agreed to take Conchita, and her mother to Lourdes. They left that same night. In haste, Conchita forgot her passport. Arriving at the border they were stopped for six hours and only thanks to a special passport, signed by the military governor of Iran, did they manage to cross the French border. In Lourdes they met with Padre Pio's emissaries from Italy. Among them was Father Bernardino Senamo. Father Senamo was not really from San Giovanni Rotondo, but he belonged to another monastery. 
He was a person that Padre Pio and Padre Pellegrino Funicelli, another collaborator of the friar with the stigmata, knew well, the latter took care of Padre Pio in the last years of his life and wrote a note for Conchita dictated by Padre Pio himself. Father Senamo told Conchita that he did not believe in Garabandal's apparitions until Padre Pio asked him to give her the veil that would cover her face after his death. The veil and Padre Pio's letter to her were given to Conchita. She asked Father Senamo, why did the Virgin tell me that Padre Pio would see the miracle and instead he has already died? The father replied, he saw the miracle before he died. Padre Pio, told me himself. Back home Conchita decided to tell what happened to a friend who was in Madrid. Again we refer to the 1975 interview. I had the veil in front of my eyes while I was writing, recalls the seer, when suddenly the whole room was filled with fragrance. I had heard of the fragrance of Padre Pio but I had never given importance to it. The whole room was enveloped in such a strong perfume that I began to cry. It was the first time that this had happened to me. Padre Pio is undoubtedly one of the most attractive saints in the history of the Church, with the advantage that he is also a contemporary saint. At present the monastery in which he lived until his death on September 23, 1968, has become the second most visited Christian sanctuary in the world after Guadalupe in Mexico. The convent of Santa Maria del Grazie, in San Giovanni Rotondo, Foggia, Italy, annually receives about 8 million pilgrims, more than Fatima and Lourdes. The supernatural manifestations related to Padre Pio are countless, filling entire books dedicated to the saint of Pietrelcina. Today no one would question the truth of an event if Padre Pio had authenticated it. A tour guide who led a group of pilgrims to Garabandal wrote, Without the approval of Padre Pio, I would have never made the decision to rent a tour bus to go down there. I can tell you that the Venerable Padre Pio approved and blessed our trip to Garabandal. We should also thank Padre Pio in as much as on June 18, 1965, a group from Italian television found itself in Garabandal on the occasion of the last encounter between Saint Michael the Archangel and Conchita, and filmed Conchita's ecstasy. A member of the Holy Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith, Monsignor Philippi, wrote. The fact that Padre Pio, who is well known for his virtue, his knowledge and fidelity to the Holy See, said that these apparitions are good and encouraged the four little seers to make the Blessed Virgin's messages known, is a big proof as to the truthfulness of these messages. Thank you for supporting my channel. Please like, share and subscribe. May God bless you and keep you. Saint Padre Pio, pray for us. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.